Stampers. Today we're going to make this pop can pin. I got this one from my friend Donna from Leadership. I think it's just the cutest thing. But we're going to go ahead and make this. So let's go ahead and get started. First you're going to go ahead and start with your pop can. And you'll first want to drink the pop out of it first, of course. And then you'll want to rinse it out and then let that dry. And then you'll want to go ahead and pop the tab off your can. Okay, so my tab Oops. fell inside the Coke can, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and I'll get it out there. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your Kraft and Rubber scissors and you're going to make your first cut along the side where it says all the ingredients to your soda. And the first cut is going to be the hardest. Let me see here. Okay, so once you get your first cut, just go ahead and cut down to the edge. Okay. And then there's going to be a little edge here, not the very bottom, but the top edge. You're going to go ahead and cut around that edge. Okay. And then you're going to cut, not this edge, but this edge, right around the top. And you want to be very careful cutting this aluminum because it's sharp. So if you're one of my little stampers, just get your parent to cut that for you if you want to Okay, so there's your can, and it can lay flat. That's the idea, because we're going to run this through the Big Shot. So let me go ahead and grab the okay, Big Shot. so here's the Big Shot. And you're going to need your two acrylic cutting pads, and then your daisy die. And this has three daisies on it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up What you'll do first is you're going to go ahead and lay your cutting pad down and then the die and then with making so many of these I found that I cut the large one and the medium one first so what you're going to do is you're going to place this can because this is a 12 ounce can so it's not going to cover your whole die so placing your aluminum on your die at a diagonal over top of the large and the medium daisy first and then we'll cut the smaller one next so then you just run that through the big shot And these dots right here that are cut out from the daisy, you want to save these because Gina, she had a really great idea at our club meeting when we made these. So go ahead and remove your daisies. Here's, here's the large the medium one. size one. Okay, so we'll set those aside. And then we're going to let me grab this bucket here. And then you're just going to cut out a piece of your aluminum for your small daisy, just big enough to cover that area. Okay, so then slide your, you want to keep these dots here. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so then you're just going to take your aluminum and you're going to place it over top of the small daisy. Okay, so here's your small daisy. Okay, and then an easy way to clean your die, let me show you here. I got the stipple brush and I just brushed the aluminum off the die so it cleans it off. So that's it. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting our pin together. You're going to start with the large daisy and then you're going to take the medium and you're going to off center it between the petals. Just place it right so it's kind of overlapping in the middle. And then take your small one and lay that right over top of the medium. So it looks like that. I found that this hole is too big for a standard brad. So what I'm going to use is the 5 8 neutral brads. And the colors you get are silver, white, vanilla, and brown. Chocolate chip, I'm assuming. And then you're just going to take, I'm going to use the silver. And you're just going to place that in the center. And then flip it over to the back. Kind of holding it in place because it does move. So flip it over and then just open up your brad in the back and push that down really, really tight. And then you can position your flower once it's sealed up. So it looks like that. Actually, let me move that over there. So it looks like that. Then you're going to go ahead and flip it over. And I'm going to grab my handy dandy purple glue gun. And this is very hot, so be careful. The glue right on the back side of this aluminum, right over top of that brad. And then I have a one and three eight circle punch, and I just use a neutral color, so it's kind of blends in good. And then just press that down. And then before it seals up totally, you can really quickly position that where you want it. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like that. Isn't that cute? And then you want to push that down so it seals it up. And then place okay, so it over. I'm using the one inch bar pins. And you can get these at your local craft store. I'm just going to apply a strip of glue. And then just attach the pin. Super cute. And then you, of course, you want to set that aside to dry. Okay, so then the tip that Gina shared with us at Club is she took the centers of the daisies, and in, in this case it's silver, so it's still cute just like that. But if you wanted to put a different colored bread and you didn't want that to show, you can just go ahead and add some glue, hot glue gun, and just take that center and put it right over your bread. So it kind of conceals the color of it. So they will never know if you had a purple bread on there. So cute. Love it. Okay, so let me show you the other ones that I made. Here's a whole bunch. We have the Bart's Root Beer can. Love it. Super sparkly. Then I made one with the Arizona tea. And then my husband's a big Verner's drinker, so I made some with the Verner's. There's a couple with the Verner's. And then I made one with the Diet Coke. Super cute with the white. And then a few more with the Bart's Root Beer. And then here's one with the Pepsi. And then just a regular Coke. And then I also was just playing around and I used the foam craft paper. And what I did with this one is I punched it out with the Daisy, with the Verner's can, but then I flipped it over. And then I ran the foam paper through the Big Shot with the Daisy. And then I just kind of layered it together. So it's purple and silver instead of the green showing through. It's really cute. Just different. And then this one I made with the Cheetos chips bag. Isn't that cute? And it's like really flimsy. And these are more pokey, but they're not sharp at all. Once you cut them, they're not sharp. And then I went ahead and used this can. I have no idea what this drink is. I had my daughter drink it because I like the purple can. So I'm going to use this can to make one for her, but I'm going to show you the one that I made for my coat. So here's mine that I have on my coat, and it's using this can. And it's actually a bigger can than the 12-ounce Coke can. And this is a 16-ounce can. But this one that I have on my coat is kind of bent up. And I kind of like the looks of it a lot better than just a flat one. And it's from just wearing my seat belt and, you know, reaching and bending it up. But I just love that look. It's so cute. Okay, so then here's the Arizona tea can that I used for, let me see, this one. And this is a really big can. This is 23 ounces. Okay, so here's two other cans that I'm going to be making these flowers with. And this one's 15 ounces, and this one's 16 ounces. So just different ideas that you can use for your pins. Really super cute. Okay, and then here's Donna's again. Oh, I just love it. Thank you again, Donna. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye.